hi guys hi guys hi guys hi guys welcome to my youtube channel welcome or welcome back <laughs> to my youtube channel my name is tukuza joy piri also known as or going by the name tuku joy most times and today's vlog or today, it's not even a vlog today's video today's video is about ziali q and a it's a q and a because i put up a q and a on my instagram and some girls responded and that's what i'm gonna be doing i also had like independent responses from girls on all social media platforms to be honest from tiktok and from instagram and from whatsapp yeah so that's what i'm going to be dealing with let me just get rid of this gun because it's not even looking professional the reason why we are here is for professional reasons <laughs> okay so now we're back and we are ready for everything so basically i'm going to be answering the questions that i got concerning ziali the most feared place for lawyers if you're a lawyer you know and i'm also going to give my 10 tips i don't know if there are 10 or there are 12 12 tips that i feel like every ziali student should consider yeah or should adhere to my version please it's not like any expert version but yeah it's my version i like to talk with my hands so please bear with me and let's <laughs> let's do this so the first question i'm not going to be mentioning the people that asked me these questions for confidentiality reasons because i don't think people want to be put on here like hey this person asked me this what no so i'm just going to do this confidentially and i'm going to answer your questions okay so the first question i chose this to be the first question even though it was the last question this person sent me this question last on my instagram thing was it very hard i chose this as the first question because that's the first question we have because we heard of that glorious year when someone only one person cleared ziali was it very hard it was hard <laughs> it was hard but it was manageable um and i'll explain why i say it was hard it was hard because you are shifting from five courses or four courses but at mulungushi university where i was it was five courses you're shifting from five courses to 11 courses that's like double plus one one extra that alone is overwhelming that alone is like god am i gonna do it what's going to happen to me is am i going to manage to study it was hard but it was manageable and i said it was manageable because our our era where we have like people speaking to us about these things it's easy for us to get exposure it's easy for us to know what we are going into so like for example the way you're watching this video you know what you're going into if you're not yet there or if you're there you now know to say <laughs> things will be all right anyway so it was hard but it was manageable there were days where um i couldn't study but i had to study no matter what i always describe 2022 to 2023 as the year that i was the most consistent from the time that i began early to the time when my results okay not when my results were out on the last day of um my final exam i was extremely consistent i like there were days that i didn't want to study you guys you know there are those days where you just don't want to study but i had to study i forced myself but then there were some days where i wanted to study but i couldn't study because the stress is too much my emotions are all over the place so i didn't study but maybe i could have studied in the morning or something anyway so it was hard but it's manageable and you can do it if i did it you can do it if other people did it you can definitely do it so yeah it was hard but it's manageable okay and everything in life is hard <laughs> everything in life is hard okay you pick your heart so is your heart to not become an advocate or your heart is to become an advocate 
we pick the hard of going to Ziale and becoming an advocate because that's where the money is at. <laughs> the second question is what was my experience? Mm, my time management, how I did my time management, my study routine and my work routine. So I'll start with my experience. My experience at Ziale was, um, I don't know if I have one way to describe my experience because I went through so many things while at Ziale. I feel like I had a personality change at Ziale. I feel like I became more, more consistent. I became more prayerful. I be, like, <laughs> Ziale makes you just think of things in such a spiritual manner. But anyway, I became more prayerful. I became more consistent. I became more responsible. Because I went from living with my mom or living with my friends, my sister in undergrad to living alone at the house where I was living at. So, um, yeah, my experience was, I can say it was bittersweet because I met a new friend. She was my friend um, back, she wasn't my friend at undergrad. We just knew each other like we were classmates, but we became so close at Ziali and I feel like that was one of the biggest blessings Ziali brought me because she even taught me accounts. <laughs> ah, oh, mind you. Anyway, so um, that was my experience. It was bittersweet. It was not an easy thing. Um, I can't say I completely lost myself because I had a strong support system by my side. The people that were with me were strong but i changed i did i wasn't the same person so yeah that was my experience it changed me i i feel like i have not even gone back to the type of person that i was because now i feel like i'm even more withheld in the type of person that i am i used to be very expressive in terms of social media yeah but these days i could go like some days without posting anything and i'm all right so yeah, that was my experience. Time management. Time management, I feel, is like the most important thing at Ziali. If you manage your time well, you will definitely get to that place. So for me, I was very strict when it came to my time, okay? No one could come to me and interfere with what I've put in place for 12 hours to 14 hours. Unless, unless it's an, an exception that I feel like, okay, I need to put this in, but trust me. It was rare that I break my rules when it came to time. My time management looked something like I had a routine actually. It was very stuck in my room. All my friends would laugh at me like, "What? Why do you even have a <laughs> a whole routine stuck in your room?" But it's because I knew what I wanted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I knew what I wanted. My friend Naomi, before I went to Ziali, told me about timestamps, and I decided to do my research on it, and that's what helped me really to manage my time. I wrote down how i'm going to be living each day i well yeah because monday to thursday was a strict routine friday was also a strict routine saturday and sunday came also with their routines on sunday i was a bit lenient with myself because that's the day when i go to pray i go to church i pray and also i would like be preparing for the week so i'll study on a lighter note but all the other days were so strict for me so i would wake up at four yes i used to wake up at four I study my first course i go to work by like seven the time i was working at a another law firm anyway things changed eventually in the middle I'll, I'll i'll get to work i'll do whatever i'm required to do and then i'll go home at 13 13 i'll have my lunch class starts at 14 14 i have class till 17 17 i'll take a nap or I'll be on a video call because I'm a, I'm such an active person during the day compared to in the evening. 18, I'll probably have my supper. And I used to do uh, meal prep, so that's why it was easy for me to, like, eat. I'll just, like, warm up food. I wasn't, like, cooking a whole meal. I would meal prep on a Sunday. Anyway, I'll warm up my food for supper, like, by 18, 19. I'll take a shower. I'll start studying by 20. 21, 30. I'm sleeping. 22 was the latest. To, unless during exam period i started to go like a bit beyond 22 80 i would go like to 24 and also because exam period is quite traumatizing we would go up to 24 sleep to 01 wake up 02 wake up 03 sleep it was so confusing but anyway that was how i managed my time and that worked for me because i actually had days where i i used to have a to-do list i would have days where i put like my the social relations so i would have people that i have to call on a specific day to check up on them 
yeah i was very strict with my time um study routine my study routine was two courses per day and what worked for me was studying the two courses that i'm learning that particular day so in the morning i'll do one course in the evening i'll do another course but both i'm learning that same day and then for friday because i had three courses on friday in the morning i'll do accounts because my mind is active in the morning in the evening i'll do ethics because i felt like it was such a you know a cute course it wasn't an easy course because people feel ethics because they think it's so easy but it was those courses that i felt like wow this is like teaching me the morals of being a law yeah <laughs> an advocate anyway yeah um so that was what my study routine looked like on saturday i'll do accounts and drafting my weekends were for drafting period <laughs> my weekends were for drafting so i was doing drafting courses on weekends all the time and then eventually i put in like some past papers you know doing some past papers with my friends group group calls and whatnot yeah and then my work routine yeah it was strictly monday to thursday me i didn't like interfering with my my life like I came here to clear so i didn't like that whole thing where you are telling me to come and work on friday or on saturday or on sunday i was like no let me first clear the bar then you can abuse me so yeah i didn't really have those issues but i had to work from monday to thursday like everyone does but other people have a privilege of working like for two days one day or three days i had to work for four or four okay how did i balance everything for starters this person added how did i balance vlogging i was not even vlogging during the early <laughs> i wasn't i cut it off i started then i stopped because i was like this is crucial is the element me go in a shell so i quit vlogging i quit instagram i quit tiktok a little bit because i needed tiktok to make me say yeah how did i balance everything to be honest i think it was god <laughs> firstly god helped me balance everything Secondly, um, I was very strict. I was very disciplined. I knew what I wanted. I knew why I went there. And for me, I feel like I was going to be heartbroken. To be honest, a part of me, a small part of me was like, you'll be sad if you don't clear everything. But I was open to like any mistake, a bit, not a lot. I was like, but the, the bigger part of me was the part that was like, if you don't clear, you'll be sad. So that overtook like everything and that's how I managed to balance things. Um, yeah, basically, I also knew the balance between working hard and working smart and also resting. Because you know the thing is you don't want to burn yourself out such that you don't have energy to study throughout the rest of the academic course. So I also put that into consideration. I had days when I would rest. I had days when I would go out for a movie, go out for ice cream, go out for lunches because that's what I do. If you do something else, you can do that and that will help you also. But not all the time. Something must adjust. Something must change because this is not the same environment you are in at undergrad. This is like you're entering a pressure cooker or whatever they put diamonds in so that they can make diamonds. Yeah? Because, I don't know, diamonds become better through the pressure. Something like that. Um, My strategy for each course. I feel like I should do a separate video for each course. Because I have so much to say for each course. So I think I'll answer that in another video. But for what it's worth, for this video, I can say that my strategy was knowing what my lecturer requires of me, understanding the model answer so that I can answer like that. Um, studying. Studying. I was more of a study girl than a past papers girl. Because I didn't even have past papers. People are not sending me past papers. <laughs> Only my friend, the close friend I had, was sending me past papers. We used to send each other past papers. So now we're going into the tea of Ziali, which is my 10 tips. But there are 12. My 12 tips. What I personally feel every Ziali... Okay, no. Let me say every undergraduate. Yeah, every lawyer. Should at least try to work with as they go and get prepared for their bar exam here at the <sighs> the holy <laughs> ziali <laughs> okay so let's get into that so number one on my first 10 tips number one is god 
prayer prayer and why do i say prayer it's because without prayer i was not going to be anywhere without god i was not going to make it this far without god i was not going to be testifying in this video without god it would not have been possible i never cut out church okay i used to go to church every sunday if i don't go to church i'll probably listen to church online because our church does have online services as well so i listen to church online I never cut out my daily listening to podcasts about God or my daily journaling about like my prayers. I never cut that out. I used to pray all the time. In fact, let me read you guys some of my journal entries um during my early days. I'll read those at some point after I finish talking about God. You need to pray. You ought to pray when you're zealous you ought to pray you ought to be prayerful you need to be prayerful because without god guys i don't know i don't like and you know i stood by that verse that says seek first um god his righteousness and all else will be added unto you so i thought to myself if i seek god if i pray trust me everything that i want will come to me so i prayed my way through zealous i was always praying i was always talking to god always asking god what next it's such that the the week for my media results coming out i dreamt of my no not the week it was actually it's the week for finals when i dreamt like that okay the week the last day of my media exams i had a dream about my media results and it was exactly the way they were okay Anyway, so my point is pray. You need to pray. You need to take your relationship with God very seriously because we wrestle not against you know, just flesh. We wrestle against principalities. There's so many things that happen in the world and I'm a Christian girl, so I'm definitely going to put you on to prayer. Prayer is the number one thing that you need. But then faith without actions is dead. So let's get into number 2. Number 2 is mindset. You need to be on top with your mindset. You need to have a positive mindset from day one. In fact, from when you are applying, you must have a positive mindset. Have a mindset that you are not going there to fail. You are not going there to be like the people that don't clear. You are not going there to be crying about how you are, yeah, you are never going to make it or anything. No, your mindset should be so positive that when a negative talker comes to you, like, hey, is there like that place? You are like, excuse me. I'm not part of the people that you've heard about or anything. You, this is it's your turn. It's your story now to be written. So you need a positive mindset. Half of the battle, if not seventy percent of the battle, at Ziale is in the mind. You need to think it. Even the Bible tells us, as a man thinketh, so he is. So you need to think that you are an advocate. You need to um, think positively don't be defeated because once your mind is defeated your physical is defeated so you are not going to study according to how a mindset of someone who feels they were clear is going to study i don't know if that was correct english but anyway um have a very positive and active mindset every time you feel like you're getting into the negative because it does happen we are human and we are bound to draw into the negative sometimes have friends that at least bring you back into the positive okay and i have a point on friendships also association <laughs> so have a positive mindset that's what matters when you have a positive mindset you actually even know that this environment is not the environment that i need to get to where i'm going okay there's people that have strategies like no i'm going to clear only five first and then i'm going to clear the other six so it depends on the strategy you're going with i went in with the strategy that i'm able to clear everything I told myself that I was like I'm going to clear everything as zealously. So trust me the the battle is in the mind as well. Um the third thing is discipline, commitment and dedication. Let me explain on that. So when it comes to discipline, commitment and dedication, this is what I mean. You need to have the discipline. That's why I said you need to have a study routine in the first place. You need to have the discipline. You need to tell yourself like okay like for me this is what I used to do. Tukuza this is the time to study so you are not going to entertain this conversation that your friend who is not at Zale has brought up right now. 
and i won't entertain it i'll just tell the person that look <laughs> i hear you i'll probably respond to you later and i i became so bad at communication which is not something to be proud of but like for the end result these people are actually congratulating me and happy for me and i also communicated with them in the very beginning to say i'm going into this period of my life where i want this for myself so i might not be able to show up as the tukuza that you knew and they understood in fact on your first day of orientation at Zale, they will tell you talk to your family and friends your boyfriend your girlfriend your wife your husband tell them that things are going to be a bit intense so have the discipline of um studying at the exact times that you've put to study have the discipline of eating at the right time have the discipline of uh praying have the discipline of going for work and doing the work that you've been given have the discipline of actually um committing to do past papers have the discipline of asking questions have the commitment of i'm going to clear these courses this year not next year i hope this is even helping because <laughs> i just feel like this is what worked for me okay so have that discipline have that commitment be you know this is the at Ziale, it's like the time that you have to be selfish with yourself and it's allowed okay don't let someone come and tell you no me i needed you hey, hey what what no yes they needed you but you need yourself more <laughs> in this moment because you need to study so yeah number four is time management i worked with timestamps like i said so i had timestamps from 4 to 21 30 or 22 30 depending on what time i'll sleep that yeah guys so <clears throat> that's that on time management the fifth thing is association this is the people that you are going to hang around with firstly at Ziali and also just around you like outside your outside circle outside um Ziali um you need very positive people you need people that are going to push you possibly you need to also have mentors as well i had two i had pamela and um another woman from city bank i won't mention her name um those two are my mentors like every time people threw things at me left right center those guys would stand in the gap for me they would pray for me they would speak to me they would tell me how i'm going to make it they'll tell me how um I just need to rest and like not listen to the naysayers because I had a lot of opposition during my early time. So yeah, I have people that are going to speak life over you and not going to tell you that Zeli is hard, you're going to fail and all that stuff. I had such people, a lot of such people. I did away with them and that helped me. The sixth thing I'm going to talk about is how you need to study every day and you need to study smart. There's nothing like no i'm feeling lazy today i'm not going to start it's not like undergrad where you feel like i work better under pressure for most of us that used to say that no at this point you need to work better under consistent grounds you need to work better better under working studying every day you need to work better under knowing strategies for each course so that you can um do your very best and like get a desired result so you need to study every day no excuses the only excuse possible is that maybe you're very tired and you can't manage to study that's allowed you're human you're you're bound to feel tired but please remember that you need to pick yourself up the next day and continue where you left off from also don't leave work and tend like um i don't mean work at the office i mean yeah even that but like i mean don't leave um don't power up your work study consistently every day like be up to date with the lecturers if possible as they move you're also moving in your studies yeah the seventh thing is rest have enough rest i can't stress wait i feel like this is not positioned properly i can't stress resting enough i can <laughs> because i don't think i was very good at resting but i feel like it helps you know rest sleep don't feel guilty about it also because you're bound to feel guilty a lot at Ziali. like any small movement you make it like i should be on my books that's how i was but you need to rest your body deserves the rest your body needs to fuel up in order to work for the next amount of days so you need to rest you need to breathe please rest that's why i was sleeping at 21 30 then wake up at 4 21 22 23 24 <laughs> 01 02 03 04 see that's seven hours and that's enough an average man gets like six five to six hours so rest 
sleep relax i don't mean rest go drinking go partying no i mean rest sleep this is mental work so you need to rest number eight is have a strict routine i already touched on that but what i want to say is follow your routine don't say no in a routine sivanga yes you get what i'm trying to say please have a strict routine that you can follow morning routine and evening routine weekend routine week routine that's how i did it so someone here is definitely going to have to do it like that um ask questions i wasn't the person that asked questions in class like people in my class they probably don't even know me if they know me they know me from someone else or from tiktok itself <laughs> or from here youtube or from instagram but i wasn't those people that ask questions but if you have questions please ask your lecturers questions ask 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 there is nothing like in fact there is that proverb he who asks is only a fool for five minutes yes you're only a fool for five minutes when you ask so don't feel like you're a fool for a lifetime who he who doesn't ask is a fool for a lifetime so ask i never used to ask questions in class but i used to ask my friends every time because i know we understand things differently so they'll definitely be able to explain so please ask questions ask your lecturers ask your mentors mentors are not quite ready to answer questions about class so ask Mentors are there for like the strong mental support, not like help me with this question. What? No, there are some that are there for that, but like I don't know. I just feel like mentorship is on its own compared to like asking questions to teachers or tutors or friends who are in in school at Ziali. Know yourself is number ten. Know yourself. What worked for me might not work for you. What worked for the next person might not work for the next person. So know yourself. I am a morning person. I'm a day person. I love to do my stuff during the day, in the morning, during the day, in the night I want to sleep. If you're a person who manages to study during the night, do that and make a routine that suits you like that. Um, except things like studying consistently. There's nothing like I know myself. I don't study. No, just please <laughs> study consistently and you definitely have nothing much to stress about um last two things and i close this video number 11 adjust yourself what i mean by adjust yourself is you can't have a stubborn mentality like this is just the way I, that i am sorry i got disturbed but i was saying adjust yourself there's nothing like i'm not a consistent person i'm not a routine girl i'm not a okay there are some people that <laughs> it works well for them like that but i just feel like it's safer to like plan because failing to plan is planning to fail so why not plan and like not risk the fact that you're not a routine girl or you're not a consistent girl or guy or whatever so adjust yourself adjust yourself to the new environment adjust yourself to the fact that it's now 11 courses and not five adjust yourself to studying every day adjust yourself to eating better because a healthy body is what you need that side and you don't want that adjust yourself to asking questions adjust yourself to meeting new people so that you can learn from them at the end of the day you need to network as well adjust yourself to asking okay don't have pride and not want to ask ask adjust yourself to having the right friends not just friends that you gossip with and friends that you party with and friends that don't push you to study and friends that tell you let's sleep instead of let's work on this accounts question adjust you need to adjust the last thing is where you are working matters. I'm going to say this because I'm one of those people that changed where I was working because the environment did not suit me. Okay. The people that can work well under pressure, I'm not those people. <laughs> so I had to change. So where you work matters. Okay. Um, if you are someone that can work well at a low firm where they are overworking you, that's good great i am actually admire such people i couldn't handle that so i went where the pressure was less and i could manage to study because at the at the end of the day at the end of the day i wanted to be an advocate i didn't want to just be working as an intern the goal was to upgrade and i did period <laughs> anyway so uh also have that thing that mindset where you know that this is time for work and this is time for studying so you're going to feel pressure like oh i need to get my work done i need to 
be on point with my work and whatnot yes that's right you have to do that i have your work done and be a good intern and whatnot but please know where to draw the line you can't carry work from work to be working on at 21 hours when you are supposed to be studying don't try that at home me i didn't do that and the moment i knew i i, I felt like people wanted me to do that i ran I ran for my life because I cannot work under such conditions. And I feel like it was the best decision I made because I made it and I'm an, ad, ad, an, an, an advocate. Okay. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope these tips will help you. They were tough. I hope these tips will help you. And the last thing, which is number 13, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. We are all going to do it. And always remember what Judge Muzenga says. We are all gonna be advocates, okay? We will all be advocates, not at the same time, but we are going to be advocates. So please remember to put everything in God's hands and do your best. Show up as your best self this year, if you are dearly, whichever year, whenever you're going to be watching this, do that. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment because you can't be coming to my Instagram to ask me questions and you don't comment here. Come and comment, like, Share with your friends who are going to Ziali. Share with your lawyers. Thank you for watching. I need to head to the gym now. I'll come back for part two where I'm answering a strategy on each course. Don't forget to put congratulations to you. See you at court day. Okay, no, see you in the next video where I'm going to be vlogging probably. And then I'm going to talk about each course. Bye.